Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to the lecture series for the course Wood Structure Identification, FP1. This is your instructor, Forrester Eduardo J. Spian Jr. And we will be discussing Module 2 of FP1, or Wood Structure Identification, Module 2, Gross Anatomical Structures of Wood. If you remember, in our first module, we discussed about the brief about the background of what is wood structure and identification. We discussed also the different parts of a wood plant cell. And we also discussed the chemical structure of the basic component of each cells. In the first module, we talked about the basic units of structure of wood, which looks into the microscopic level in wood identification. For module 2, we will be talking about the gross anatomical structures of wood. Still, we are in the microscopic view of the wood, but we will be looking into its the structure of how cells are formed, how cells are arranged, as different wood species have different you know, cellular arrangement or anat anatomical structural arrangement of each cells in wood, which makes every wood species unique with each other. For this module, we will be talking in depth for that topic. Again, if you look at your module 2, you see the next page, revision mission, and we have the table of contents. If you also see here, it's just we have just two lessons, minute structures of hardwoods and softwoods. We will just be focusing on those two major types of wood, the hardwoods or the broad leaves, and the softwoods or the needle-like leaves or the gymnosperms. Later, we will discuss about that. So what is the purpose of this module, of this learner's guide? The purpose of this module is to help students be introduced on the physical structure of wood, the identification of Philippine wood species for this particular course, wood structure identification, we will be focusing on wood species and commonly um, with trees or wood with economic importance, their mechanical, physical, and chemical characterization in general. And this helps the students in determining wood species based on their anatomical structure which we will be discussing also separately in wood identification and looking at the arrangement of pores and other anatomical structures of wood in wood identification in our laboratory. So this is our course content. You already know about this one. The reading criteria and the references. You can again have your independent learning searching searching the internet all those references that i mentioned in this module so that you will also be guided for your independent learning now discuss about module 2 it's gross anatomical structures of wood the description of this module is that is this is the identification of gross anatomical features of hardwoods and softwoods species with focus on economically important timber tree species now the purpose of this module, this will serve as a guide. Let me zoom in. Now this module serves as a guide in wood identification by observing differences in gross anatomical features of both hardwoods and softwoods. Now for the course FP1, this module provides the students with key features in identifying wood species. Hardwoods and softwoods are very distinct categories of wood. Just like what I discussed last in your last module, hardwoods and softwoods are very distinct categories of wood or different types of wood. Hardwoods is most commonly found in the tropics or here in our country in the Philippines, which is your broadleaf species. Most broadleaf species or mga kahoy na haglapad, palapad ang ilang mga dahon, those are hardwood species and mostly angiosperms. Well, softwoods, are needle-like, have needle-like leaves, and can usually are gymnosperms and can be found sa mga temperate countries or sa laing nasod. Now, by being able to distinguish wood species from its anatomical characteristics, wood technologists or foresters or youth future foresters 
will be able to use this as a tool in decision making. Now, one practical example of why is it important that we know how to identify mood is that first, it's very important to identify mood in order for us to charge, to have forest proper forest charges be uh, be charged not charges for charges be charged and that particular wood this can be uh, this is very helpful in when you will be working in DNR when you seized or when you seized or when you have or when you seized an illegally cut timber then by identifying that particular wood species then the charges will be decided for that particular person who committed that crime okay as many as for example there are three species that is special we have special we have the premium hardwood tree species of the philippines like nara and the mabo or the kamagong the mulabe those three species are protected by a special law which cutting of those trees are prohibited and if you want to have the special permit to cut for those three, you need to go to the you need to go to the secretary of the NR in order for you to get such permit. But of course, there are cases. For example, if the tree or if, for example, anara is near house, and the anara poses a threat for damage to the house to the building, then you can apply for a tree cutting permit. But if you want, if you just want the tree to be cut for wood, then mo na makure yung ka because it needs a special cut tree cutting permit for that particular premium hardwood tree species. But anyways, another importance of wood identification is for again scaling confiscated illegally harvested timber. If you're working as a forest ranger and you seize or you confiscated illegally harvested timber, first thing you need to do is you need to measure this those seized illegally cut harvested timber you need to measure and then you need to identify what kind of wood that is now does this module will provide students with fundamental knowledge and techniques in wood identification by observing gross and anatomical features of various wood species now since our class will be more or uh, will be mostly virtual unlike when we're doing our practical laboratory exercises for wood identification wherein we will be um, looking at wood samples since naalaka mo sa inyong balay then we will just be focusing on maybe pictures or photos or I will be requiring to find some piece of wood and observe its anatomical structure specifically we will just be looking at the grains of the wood the grains the color of the wood the hardness and softness of the wood, and of course, the arrangement of pores in the cross-section of a wood. Later, we will discuss about that. Now, I already, in the past weeks, I already uh, assigned you, I already assigned you to answer the module pretest, and hopefully, nakasabit na mo sa inyong module pretest. Now, for most of you have already um, answer this pretest for the for review. The answer for number one. So, what do you think? What is hardwood? Now, hardwood are those trees that are again those are broad leaves. Those are broad trees having broad leaf tree species. Broad leaves and usually can be are angiosperms. Are and just perms. Soft wood is usually those needle like have trees that have needle like leaves. Needle like example for these trees are your pines, and they are mostly gymnosperms. When we say gymnosperms. Gymnos means naked and sperms meaning seed since the seed is enclosed in a cone. Now what is vessel in hardwoods now? Vessels are the one of the primary uh, anatomical structure of most hardwoods or broadly tree species or angiosperms. 
Now, sa atong kikitaon, if you look at the cross-section, iputulo ni mo ang kahoy, you look at the cross-section of the tree, di ba? We already talked about this. You have the tree, or the cross-section of a log, and then we have group rings. Vessels are... Now, vessels are the structure of wood that transports water. Then wood is the silent. Ang iyang pinakami structures hardwoods is your vessel. So they are like tubes. Puro siya gingano yun. They are more like tubes that water passes. Is atong kikita ako na din sa internet. Example of example of vessel in wood. Now, images. Now, vessels look like this. Okay? Now, this is your vessels and these are your vessel elements. Now, this is the cross-section of a wood. Kanin yung makita nga buho, those are pores. We call that as pores. And this is the cross-section of your vessels. Now, vessels, isang atong agianan sa atong nga tubig in angiosperms. Although in angiosperms, may naghihapon kita mga tritids. Tritids are elongated types of cells. Well, if atang kikita ang dere, we also have tritids in soft woods. Now, what are tritids? Now, tritids looks like this. Tritids are slender. They have slender-like structure compared to vessel elements. That is why if you look at if you look at the example of tritids in gymnosperms. Now, if you look at tritids in gymnosperms, no, they are very slender. No, those are very slender. This is under an electron microscope. In yung kikitaon. This is the vessel and this is the trachids. Now, vessels must dakodako mo siyang tubo. While your trachids is more or less slender like in structure or appearance na makikita niyo sa imong nga wood. Oh, for example, gani. Mas dako ang buho o ang diameter sa vessels compared sa trachids. Now, sa angiosperms, mas damo ang vessels compared sa trachids. Well, sa gymnosperms, mas damo ang trachids kumpara sa Vessels. Okay. Next, if you want to have um, much deeper um, studying to do with those terminologies, you can go in the internet or read the references that I gave you in this module. Now, let's start with the learning plan. Now, we will be focusing our lesson one with the minute structure of hardwoods. Ano hanap na ni? Anyways. Hmm. Anyway, so at the end of this lesson, the student should be able to identify and explain the common identifying features of hardwoods. Now, now for the let's get started clause, you have, have you ever wondered why some wood are very hard? Some are light, some are dark colored, some are heavy. Now, those are just the physical structures or physical properties of wood. Now, why do you think is that? Because now, if you can find near your place, find a piece of wood near you, favorably a hardwood species. If you look closely in the wood, what can you see? Write the things that you observe in the wood and submit your answers. Now, you can answer this voluntarily or you may not answer this. This is not a graded, but this is... And done in order for you to think or to um, be curious why is that trees are very different, wood samples are very different. If you look at examples of example of wood, examples. Uh, you think for this one, why do you think they are very different? Classic classy, you have. Iba, ibang color, may pagkapula, may pagkalight in color. It's almost 15 minutes. We will continue this with your lecture video.